Welcome guys, so as you know this is an episode uh, to create a realistic uh, bottle so we are going to continue our uh, tutorial uh, in this tutorial we are going to create uh, the, the details of uh, the Lipton bottle so in the previous uh, episode we created the basic uh, model and in this tutorial we will uh, create you know those uh, details that you uh, that we also need to create to make it uh, photorealistic. So let's get uh, into the tutorial. So we uh, will start by going to uh, vertices mode and uh, edit mode, and uh, we are going to create those details. Now you see these details and I'm going to create one with you and then the rest you can create uh, yourself because it's pretty uh, time consuming. So yeah, I will uh, create one uh, uh, edge, like one line you see here, what you see in bottles and the rest then you can uh, create uh, yourself. And we are also going to create later, we are going to create the cap of the bottle. So first I'm going to uh, select all those edges and then I'm gonna add another edge loop and I'm gonna scale it a little bit and I'm going to click Control R to add an edge loop so I am wanted to get like the same shape as we see in our reference image So let's uh, turn off subdivision surface so we can work much faster. So now I'm going to try to match the vertices with, uh, you know, the edge or the, you know, that detail that you see in the reference image. So it doesn't have to be uh, perfect, but we will try to do it as uh, close as possible. So I'm also gonna GZ. And then we are gonna select those vertices again and then move them a little bit up. And then a little bit to the left side. So, and we don't use a, so we are going now to the next side, but we don't use a, a mirror modifier in this case, because later on you have to make also like the other uh, edges that you see in the reference image, but they don't mirror each other. So in this case, we have to do it uh, manually. So this one, uh, you know, in coincidence, it does, it is a uh, mirror of the other one, but as you see the other lines, they are not mirrors of each other. So okay, they, they are all uh, different and you don't have to make exactly the same as you see in the reference image, but you can try to make it as, uh, as close as possible. Move that up, then select these vertices, move them a little bit up. So once we um, created the shape that we want, we are going to extrude it. And then when we turn on the subdivision surface, we will see like a smooth uh, edge, uh, like you see in a real uh, bottle. So now I'm going to Move that a little bit to the right side. So just this one and then we'll finish this one. A 
look how it looks it looks just fine and now I'm going to turn face select mode and then I'm going to select the faces that I want to extrude So just select this one and now I'm going to click E, S and then 1.05. Now as you can see we have we have our uh, edge that we want. Um, so we're going to do it again, E, S, and then 1.05, but as you can see, we have like a little bit of, uh, you know, this, this line in our bottle and we don't want it. So how we are going to do this, we're going to vertices mode and then we're going to edge two edge loops to remove that line that we don't want so here we add an edge loop we add also here an edge loop and now you see that annoying line is gone so that's how you do it and uh, you can continue the same workflow for the other edges so as i said it's too time consuming to do them all in this tutorial otherwise we do have a pretty long tutorial and obviously I respect your time so I only did the first one and I'm pretty sure you can do the rest yourself so now we are going to uh, make the cap so this is how it looks when you make all the edges and now for the cap we are uh, turn we first we're going to turn off subdivision so that you can work faster obviously and now we are going to add a cylinder again and then we are going to set this to 160 so that we have enough edges to work with because we need it later on because to to create the fine details that we want to create so now we moved it up and we can we are going to scale it so that it matches our image gonna scale it just a little bit move it up on the z-axis we're going to add an edge loop because we see also in our reference image we have that you know that this line so we have to create also those lines And this is why we had to create 160. Why we had to put 160 before. Because now we can uh, select all these faces. Because we need to extrude them to get a fine detail like you see in a real cap. So we do ES then 
so also we want to also create like the bot the the shape above the cap that really nice uh, edge So now we are going to move it a little bit on the z-axis so that we can uh, get rid of that uh, weird deformation of our bottle. So this is now uh, our cap and you see we still have to do like one fine detail and that's as you see in the reference image. But Let's first turn on subdivision surface to see how it looks and then we are going to create that fine detail. So as you can see it looks uh, a little bit weird because we have to add some edge loops to make it good, to make it straight. So we are going to do that now first. So create an edge loop here. And once we have created those edge loops, you will see that our bottle will look much uh, better and less deformed. So now when we turn on uh, first, as I said, we are going to create that, that fine detail. So we are going to select uh, these faces and then I'm we are going to click E S and we're gonna scale inwards and once we turn on the subdivision you'll see we have a a great cap here so that's basically uh, our cap we can, um, like our subdivision is now at 1, but we have to turn it uh, to 3 to get a little bit of a nicer uh, view. But first we are going to delete this face and we are going to add a solidify to add some thickness to it. So now we have a little bit of thickness. So there you go, this is uh, basically uh, how it's done. And as I said we're going to move this to a 3 and now we have, we have a perfect uh, cap. We're going to move this a little bit on the Z axis because it didn't match our reference image perfectly. So now it does. And this is basically it. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Like you can comment below. Uh, you can ask your question and um, I would be, I would love to help you out. So this is basically it. Like uh, you can change a little bit of things to make it perfectly as you want but um, see you in the next part where we are going to create um, we are going to create those realistic uh, material like you see in a real bottles see you in the next video